<laughs> oh man, that fight is really brutal. Basically, all of its goddamn attacks have seemed to, anyways, have a good chance of just completely deleting that monster. I don't know if it also grants him back some of his health, but... I'm going to be really saddened if I end up going through all of this. We're getting what I believe is going to be one of my favorite underneath creatures. And it just being absolutely trash. Man. Uh, that would suck. I won't lie. What would I replace? Probably my, um... Not Tusk. I like Tusk. Now, first off... Heal, please! My right, destroyed my end, but I can still record your journey. Yes. Whee! Alright. Oh, wait. Have I forgotten money? I forgotten money. At least it's not much. And crap, it's not much. It's a rookie. Yes, I would like to sell you those, and then these. Just have a little bit of money, just on hand. Always good. And yes, I know I came here specifically for the. Uh, Dude, but... Dude also went through all of my healing, so... I <laughs> just... Mm. Excuse me while I get back a little bit of my money. Uh, might as well sell them back. There we go. Be a stranger, bub. Nasty, isn't it? I would like you to forge me one... Ormagon. Here's your Ormagon. If you're trying to train your new creature, try the area outside the gar garage. It's great. Now, out of curiosity, he can power it up. It just requires six other Ormagons. I think we're, we're set. Holy shit. Uh, look at that. Most of his stats are max. It is not faster. Well, okay, the way that they handle um, initiative in this is a little bit funky. But I digress. So I have two of the biggest creatures in all of the Magi Nations. Uh, give me a hot tick to look up what Ormagon actually does. Here we go. God, that uh, wiki site is really damn useful. So. It has four attacks, naturally. Crack, single target, underneath based attack, cool. Crush, which is also a single target, but it has a chance to eliminate the target. Consume, which steals, the, steals energy, chance to terminate the target. So not only does it have a chance to just outright kill whatever the hell it's fighting into, but it also takes that energy back. And Wreck. That hits all enemy creatures with a chance to terminate all targets. Also an underneath based skill. Man. It's it's kinda it's kinda disgusting. A little bit ridiculous. I love it. And of course, seeing as we are quite literally like at the end of the game, what better opportunity to use it than use it at the uh very final combats. Oh, I could have saved myself a little bit of money by taking this blue route. Oh well. Oh yeah, that is pretty much the pin ultimate thing that you would have to do in this game. And it takes you pretty much the entire flipping game to do it. But, it is a level 60 creature with some instant death moves and... How much energy? 172. Even at 57, my wasp brain only has 154. I could just be ridiculous and put all of my um, runes and whatnot on 
the Ormagon. But with a bunch of instant death moves and whatnot, I think we're set. So I think all we need to do now... ...is one final, final save? And then I think we just try to go through the door again. Whether or not we're successful? Don't know. Shaky. Oh. Rather straightforward location so far. With a 90 degree turn here, 90 degree turn there. Stone. It's made of stone. Oh. These are all the dudes and dudettes that were uh, kidnapped, huh? Oops. Better be careful. I guess kidnapped might not be the right word. Those who oppose. Hey, you're familiar looking. Can I? Can't cast spell axe here. Really? like to be able to. You've come. You are not a child of Agadon. So I ask you, why do you stand in my way? For justice. You speak of justice, but do you really know what you are speaking of? Really, I am not a tyrant. I do wish you'd see that. Long ago, I gave Morag the power as my disciple to exterminate all of Agadon's tribe. I only wish to remove the knowledge of the ancient secrets from this land. I succeeded in killing Agadon, but my followers and I were eventually imprisoned in the wastelands by the other ancients. It was thousands of years before you set me free. I must now finish what I started. It's a shame. What once would have only been a small group of people suffering has grown into an entire nation. They all must be removed for knowing the secrets of the ancients. It is their fate. That's far too much suffering. You mustn't harm th these people. It's unforgivable. Haven't you realized? The blood of an ancient made you what you are. Your alliance. Allegiance should be to the ancients, not to the filth that pollutes the land. Wrong. I'm going to put an end to this right now. I'm sending you back to the wastelands. Tell your misguided followers to choke on their so-called justice. <laughs> You fool. After generations of garbage, you are but a shadow of your former self. I will dissolve this weak vessel called Dan and bring you to the heart of my keep in the wastelands for an eternity of torture. At last, I shall have my revenge, Kairos. Thy hour of reckoning is upon thee, Agram. So be it. Damn. Dan just goes straight hardcore in this situation, don't he? Ormagon! Finishing you off will ensure the completion of my plan. I'm sure it will. And then we summon my best of buds. Let's see, I don't think he... Will he be weak against it? Crack. Oh no. Curse. Ow. Girl, that's cool. Bonk. Hmm, by Tidal Wave, I can hit them both for some damage. Not a lot. Oh no, I could actually wait. Will summon one more dude? Uh, Orthan Flyer. Wreck. Then we'll shred his buddy. Oh, I did wreck at a good time. This might actually destroy his entire team. Or at least a few of them. Yeah, one of the reasons why Waspreen is actually kind of weak against core creatures is because he's of the Weave, not of Narum. So there's a good, you know, there's a good little bit of that in there. I'm gonna wreck you. I'm gonna wreck you. Yeah, look at that. 
Kind of wishing it took out at least one of these core. Yes! There goes the other core, Hyren. Alright, uh, we will do a quick updraft. Oh, that's the blast. I'm looking through the long bits. You'll have to excuse me, I'm just a little bit excited. Now, if I keep on wrecking his party, there's a good chance I could destroy them, and even if I don't destroy them with damage, there's a chance I have a... Uh, there's a pretty good chance I have to just absolutely destroy them with, uh, whatever else. Why must you defeat Dagadon's tribe? And cast updraft. Imagine this ginormous mushroom monster the size of a building and a floating whale. Oh, judge. That's probably not good. Dark Breed Hyren was judged. Excuse you? I have no clue what being judged means. Oh, ow. 16. Ooh, okay. 48 kind of hurts. Kind of hoping that the other dude doesn't go for my Wasparine. Yeah, this is some actual epic boss by music. Oh, he hit Hormigan with my bat. Alright. Gonna try to go for some consumes, I think. Especially with that chance to steal energy. Ooh, Hormagon's looking pretty nasty. Consume. Uh, I guess Tsunami. I just want to heal Ormagon, because Ormagon is... Jury. The frick? Judged guilty. I have no clue what that means. Should I know what this means? I have no clue what that means. Poor Hyren defeated. Oh my god, hit Stark Breed with Consume! Wrath and Fire with Jolt. Oh, this might actually hurt? No? Alright. Well, it hurt. It just didn't hit for as much as I thought it was going to. Okay, a little bit of energy back. Oh, that was worth. All right. Keep on consuming, buddy. Wonder if I can sting you for a little bit of damage. <laughs> I just love the Oh, no, executioner. Oh, that does it to all my dudes. Oh, you scum. I guess he's a core caster for a reason. Oh my god, hits Agrom with consume. Oh my god, down, Agrom. Get consumed, bitch. No, no mortal can destroy an ancient. It's unfathomable, inconceivable. No. Dan, what happened? Where are we? This is the core. The core? Last thing I remember is at the party. That floating guy pointed at me and that's all I remember. I understand now. Morag probably sent you here and Agram turned you into stone. Morag? Agram? Never mind. You're okay now that the threat to the world is gone. Threat to the world? Yeah. Wow. I don't even want to know. Is that the way out of here? Uh, no, 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 no. The way out is that way. Oh, thanks. See you later.
That was close. Thank you, Kairos. It's the least I can do. I'm glad you will respect our wish to remain hidden. Your secrets save with me, Ma Majesty. I'm indebted to you. Well, the prophecy has now been fulfilled. Now there is but one thing remaining. What's that? For you to return home? The path is right through this door. Raise the core glyph to the left light and you will be taken back to your homeworld. And what about you? I'll return to the palace, of course. I must undo the destruction that Morag and Agram dealt to my kingdom. Farewell. Have a safe journey. Really quick. That light over there is probably what Jela, Jela was talking about. Aw, I wanted to say... Maybe... Nah. Can I save? I can't save. Or can I? Perhaps I don't have to go back right away. What's going on? I sense Diagram's defeat. You have done a wonderful thing, Kairos. Kairos? But I thought you said... Just play along for now. Everyone has good reason to believe it. Since you have done so much for us, and since the other one was so rudely interrupted, we're having a farewell party for the great magus. A wonderful celebration for all. And then I guess I gotta talk to everyone. Hi. Welcome to Fashion Room. We're having a party in honor of the great mages Kairos. Has it started yet? I hope it did. Hey, it's the great mages. Remember me? Ormacon Hunter? We all helped a bit with the preparations. Whoa, hello. Fun! <laughs> Duck, you're alive! Yep, we're all okay. Well, mostly. What happened? Well, when everyone got back, this floating guy appeared in town along with a whole bunch of goons like the ones that kidnapped me. He captured Motash and he was just about to blast us all, but Gorgor... Gorgor shielded us from the blast and then he was gone. It gave us a chance to make our escape, but... Olk hasn't been very happy since. Poor Olk. Isn't Gorgor here? What? Gorgor was just turned to stone like all of the Agram's victims. When I defeated Agram, everyone returned to normal. I know I saw Vulcan there, so Gorgor must be around somewhere. He might have gone back to the underneath, or he could be right here in Vashner Room. Really? Great, I'll, I've got to go tell Olk. See you later, Dan. Later, Wince. I, uh, hope I didn't interrupt anything. What a great party. I love this town. It is pretty neat. Let's go talk over here first. Arr, Tony! Hey, matey. I'd like you to meet Mama. I. Wow, the resemblance is non-existent. Thanks to you, Tony. I'm now closer to town and she can visit me more often. You've done so much for us, Tony. Thank you much. Come and have dinner with us sometime, would not ye? Never been this high up before. I see, still be liking it. I am the omnipotent oracle. I know all things about all people. Ah, hello, young man. Have you come to marvel at my amazing feats of intelligence? Or what? You know, my powers. Of knowing that that stuff. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. No respect. No respect at all. What's there here? Hello. Welcome to the avoid. No, I don't. I don't want to play avoid the uh, agobos. Did plenty of that back in the core. Hey, Dan, you're the man. You guy who told me all about you. Great story. I. <laughs> He's alive, Olk! He's alive! 
Who? What are you talking about, sis? Melkor, he's alive, and he's probably in town somewhere. Come on, let's go find him. I'm tired of seeing you sulk around all day like this. Mmm, did he? I'm starting to think I might have fibbed. Did I fibbed? Ooh. All this time, there was another Hyren's Claw back here. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> hey, Eden. How's it going? Pretty good. The party's great. If only I hadn't pulled a muscle chopping wood for Gaia. Anything more to say? Nope. Party's pretty good. If only I hadn't pulled muscle chopping wood for Gaia. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, you're pretty good. Of course, gardening keeps me in shape. Oh, they're dancing. Okay, that's what's going on. Woo! This is great! Hi, Dan. Feels good to be able to unwind for a change, doesn't it? Anyone in here? Are the cats dancing in the posters? Now. <laughs> Had to get at least one more in. Come on, come on, play your alarms, rock shuffle. Hey there, Dan, wanna give it a shot? No thanks, maybe later. Hey, bub. Hey, rookie, have you seen Worv anywhere? Uh, no. Wait a second, you mean he's running loose in town? Worv's a pretty adventurous little guy. Can't always keep my eye on him. On him. Well, if you see him, would you mind taking him back here? Yeah, sure. There are a lot of places for him to hide around here. Good luck. What about you? Aren't you going to look for him? I am looking, bub. But I don't see him around here. I'm gonna get ambushed by a tiny little crystal claw wolverine buddy. Evu's trip to the zoo by Evu. Alright then. Must be adventurous. Hello. Sorry, the inn's closed for today. That's okay. Boy, I'm so hungry. Maybe I'll go fix myself a pie with these jelly beans. Make it up for me too, okay, Pody? Pody. Hey, Dan. It's a great party. Lots of fun. I'm glad you like it. I'm not the one who threw it. Oh, I can't see anything because there's a branch in the way. Hi, Dan. You're our favorite legendary hero. Uh, thanks? I'm not sure how to accept praise like that. Never really been called a legendary hero before. Thank you! You're welcome! <laughs> well, it's just matching his energy is all. I shouldn't look at other people's dressers. Oh, but ceiling from their chests, that's fine. I don't actually have to look for the little wolverine, do I? Bookcase, full of bookie goodness. I wonder if Poad's band is gonna perform today. Let me through. Hi. Oh, it's you. Maybe the great mages, but I am the greater Gorgo. You're still flabby as a. Oh yeah, forgot how I was talking about this dude. You're still as flabby as a kipper beefsteak, and I'm still ripped it like buttery nougat. I'm the true master of all things heroic. A winner is me. <laughs> <laughs> Gogor, that is me. Gogor. Ow, ow, stop that. Gogor, you idiot. We were all worried about you. You were alive all this time and you didn't never even bother to come back? You jerk. Ouch. Jerk. I did go back. I went back to the underneath and nobody was there. Really? Really? Yes, but have no fear, for I am still the gracious, rock-hard, pumped-up, punk of- Oh, shut up, Gogar, we- I- Oh, you idiot! Ow! Ow! Cut that out! The uh, Gogar has to go now. Yo! Nice to see you're okay. Get back here, Gogar. We're not done yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Gogar. Wow, I can see the entire town from here. That's what makes it such a good station for me. I mean, uh, are you free? 
Oh, look, I see a lake over there. Ouch. Eh, it's not meant to be sometimes, bruh. That god down there with the cute girl is my son. I'm so proud of him. Ah, if only I could be young again. Why, if I wasn't, if it wasn't Orwin, how are you? Oh, <laughs> why, if it is Orwin, how are you doing, young fella? Uh, it isn't Orwin. Yeah, who's got my jelly beans? Oh, great, here we go again. <laughs> I know you have to leave soon, but stay a while longer and enjoy yourself. Hi, bye. Hi, 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 bro. Sorry for being so childish. I know there aren't any hard feelings. I mean, there's a little bit of hard feelings. But it's okay. New dude. Possible doomsday and all that fun stuff. Kind of hard to not have a little bit of heated emotions, you know? I wonder how I leave then. Thresh Square. Okay. So wait, is it actually possible for me to find Wharf? Probably is. Nope. Hi Aiden, how's it going? Pretty good. Party's great. If only I hadn't pulled a muscle. It's a great party. Talking to everyone. Do I just leave now? Pretty sure I talked to everyone. Oh, that silence is on the candy. Okay, here we are. Ooh. Ooh, yeah! Gotta run those laps. Gotta be fit. Ooh. You! Training is good for you. Don't you forget that, brother. Repeat after me. It's good for you. Uh, it's good for you. Louder! It's good for you. Good, you pass. Back to my workout. Woo! <laughs> Uh, he needs a different combination for his, uh, safe thing. Well, this is it. Time to go home. Yeah, time to go home. It seems the boy is leaving. Yes. Uh, what is to happen now that the Cairo's prophecy has been fulfilled? <laughs> Who knows? What? But you have the power to see into the future, don't you? That is true. But this whole experience has taught me that sometimes you and I can be taken by surprise. Perhaps there is more to the future than prophecies or legends can lead us to believe. Don't you agree, Orwin? Yes, I suppose I do. And that was my imagination. Oh man. Hell of a trip down memory lane that was, I will not lie. God damn. Again, I played this back on the Game Boy Color during the early stages of emulation, so it was pretty much one of the um, only games I could really play a bunch of Game Boy games at the time. Because no one ripped all the entire library of the Game Boy Advance to anything. Oh, what can I say? It still holds a whole lot of nostalgic memory for me, despite the fact that, you know, I've never watched any of the show, and I've never, I've not played the card game in literal decades, and the only person I did play it with made it a bad time. And... No one else I really knew played or even knew about Magi Nation. So, this is a pretty cool experience. As a game, I'd say it's okay. Uh, oh, there we go, we're right, to, right back to the start screen. Oh yeah, this, this has been a wonderful time. A oh, very nostalgic one. The combat can feel a little bit samey, because for the most part, you mostly just want to use your best attacks. And unfortunately, there's nothing really in the game that tells you straight out, Oh, this attack is stronger than this attack, or, you know, this sort of, this maneuver is, uh, this kind of regional boost, and so on and so forth. And the only clue you really have to the separate creatures 
and what their regional shit is, is the name of the attacks and the color of the separate creatures. You you saw like creatures of the weave were more golden, creatures of the Norum were more green, and so on and so forth. Of the creatures, I'd say that the underneath were still my favorite uh, iterations of them. My Wasp Marine is fan freaking fantastic, but I can't deny that I do love myself Tusk. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, and yeah, uh, Ormacon's pretty OP. <laughs> I'd say that the weakest thing about this game, to me specifically, was most definitely, uh, was definitely the geysers. The geysers were massive flipping dungeons, and I remember as a kid, they were such a chore to go through. And even now, even with a map, it was still a pretty rough time to get through the game. I kind of had a thought that as I got to like level 60 and whatnot and all my monsters were peaking at 99 in every skill or every ability that, or every stat rather, that they were going to have some sort of a massive problem, a, a bit of a drop off, if you will. And not really. I mean, we, I still had some problems trying to get through the final uh, geyser, but other than that, not that bad of a time. Um, for the most part, yeah, it was the geysers that were the worst of it for me, even in this playthrough. And I know that back in, I don't know, 2017, 2018, when I tried to play the Game Boy Color version, getting from place to place was just so atrocious. I, I didn't unlock any of the shortcuts. I know that there are multiple teleporters that allow me to get from point A to point B much, much faster, but I never used them because I never found them. And I think, honestly, the Ormagon fight is definitely one of the more neat ones. It is definitely the hardest, if only because most of, if not all of his moves, besides Crack, has a chance to just terminate you. And I still have absolutely no clue what the hell uh, Agrum was doing with the judged and guilty and all that fun stuff. That was just... Beats me, man. I got nothing. I think that was kind of the biggest problem with most of this game, is that a whole lot of it was not really explained, if at all. And you had to go to very specific people in towns to be all like, Hey, what's this relic do? What's this other item do? What's the spell do? Instead of like... I don't know, I, I would have to double check the... The GBC manual. Because, you know... If there is a Game Boy Color version of this manual, it's not going to be in English. Oh yeah, it's... It's a good nostalgia trip, but it's not a nostalgia trip that I think I would take multiple times. It's fun. And this Game Boy Color version of the game makes it a lot easier to play. Or Game Boy Advance version makes it a lot easier to look at to play. Because while I do like the, um... The original setup of, like, the cards and whatever. It got really hard to just kind of follow, I think. It wasn't really... Yeah, it was very much the same of... The same pop I don't know. It's... It's hard to describe. Like, it was... It was a time. Very small screen. Very hard to look around the place. At the least with the game... Game Boy? The Game Boy Advance screen. You could see wider areas. It's not, you know, a cube. It's a bit of a rectangle. And, again, I don't think I could have gotten through this game with my patience intact if it wasn't for more recent people putting up maps of these, uh, of the geysers. But yeah. It was a good time. It was a frustrating good time. It was a nostalgic, frustrating good time. I almost wanted to put on... Uh, Omar Santana when I was trying to grind again because back in the day when I was playing the Game Boy Color version That's what I did whenever I was grinding or I was in the geysers. I would just pop on Omar Santana's hardcore for the headstrong and I Listened to that shit when I was like 14 15. I that was not appropriate for me to listen to <laughs> And there were times I really wanted to do that But I didn't for some reason mostly because it's hard to find his material anymore 
I would say if you were interested in giving this game a go and you liked yourself some sort of a Pokemon-esque collecting game, give it a shot. Uh, otherwise, if you're not really into the, you know, heavily pixelated kind of... Oh god, man. I could go on about this game and some of its flaws. Uh, feeling like I was going to miss something pretty much every step that I took. Always worrying that I did something wrong for the Ormagon stuff. I ew, it was just so much bad time. And I suppose the biggest turn on for this game would be the new game plus because that would also allow you to start collecting all of the monsters in the game, including the core ones, which honestly, no thanks. Uh, with how you have to do that? No, no, I'm good. Again. Great nostalgic treat, probably not going to play it again in a very, very long time. <laughs> Thank you everyone so very much for watching. Uh, this was this was still a blast to play, and if you guys like this series, consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff helps out the channel immensely and lets you know whenever the hell I decide to upload another Let's Play Shenanigans. And of course, if you want to support the channel in a financial fashion, I have a bevy of links down in the description below, coffee, uh, forgetting the name right now. I have coffee, I have Patreon, I have stream outlets. Those are the three of them. Uh, every little bit helps, keeps a roof over my head, food in my bed, and uh, goes to upgrading my PC at some point in the future. Hopefully, sometime soon. But, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope to see you folks in the next adventure. Take care. Cheers.